should find a link somewhere to the website at the top if you want to go visit. Otherwise, today we're doing websites versus Facebook. One of the most frequently asked questions uh, when people start out on social media is, should I have a website or should I just have a Facebook business page? Of course, there's no simple answer because websites have different functionality than Facebook. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. In certain circumstances, you can do without a website. In other circumstances, you can't. It really depends on your products and what you're selling and how you want to market yourself. But let's start. These are the things, first of all, that a Facebook, I mean, a website can do that a Facebook can't. So, a website can do the following things. It can provide detailed information about your business background, about pages, privacy statements, terms and conditions, the kind of things that are required for a business to be able to comply with legislation and to give you your company structure information. If you're just a, I shouldn't say just, sorry, I keep saying that. If you are running a small business that doesn't really necessarily have a very strict company structure, you probably could still do with a website to explain your the features of your product, which leads me on to the second point. Uh, a website provides space for your products to be presented in a commercial format. Uh, Images, scrolling, sort of e-commerce type formatting that you really can't do on Facebook. Facebook, in this instance, is more for providing quick, fast information. It doesn't allow you to uh, format your contact per se. Uh, which leads on to the next point. A website provides your terms and conditions, your shipping information, your returns, your downloads, at which you can't necessarily, you probably can't do on Facebook unless you know how to uh, do some coding and plug into the Facebook APIs, which will allow you to uh, manipulate and customize your tabs. But as far as downloads are concerned, that's very limited. For instance, if you're a restaurant, you can download a menu on Facebook, but you can't just download uh, a variety of other files. While you can provide your terms and conditions on Facebook, it is not the same as uh, outline detail pages of information that you can provide on your website. Obviously, your website is uh, intended to be user-friendly and to navigate. Facebook, you're stuck into the format that Facebook is giving you, which is not always ideal. For instance, if you want to, uh, this is why you have other platforms like blogs and blogs and Instagram, because Facebook is very much text oriented with additions of videos and uh, images. It's not necessarily intended for you to you know, have a variety of images on the screen that are set out in a formatted way that are particular to you. That might not be something that you necessarily need, but if you're branding yourself, it, it may be a consideration because you need to look different than everybody else. You're not going to stand out very much uh, in, in a Facebook, on a Facebook page alone. I would say that websites are more for a bit of more advanced businesses. If you are just starting out, then it's probably just fine to have a Facebook page. Uh, but one of the other things that websites let you have control of that where Facebook doesn't is your functionality. You can stick your surveys on there. You can get emails. Uh, you can do calculations, for instance, having better calculations if you're a business that requires that. And embed modules such as your YouTube channel uh, that will show directly, unlike Facebook pages where you just post a link to them. So it gives a website obviously has a lot more functionality on control of that compared to Facebook. Um, and to, a lot, say, a, along the same lines, your website will allow you to control your search engine optimization. You'll be in control of what the search engines see, how far you want to take it, how complicated you want to make it, how much data you want to embed into your HTML, etc, etc. Facebook takes care of that uh, um, itself and it's not all, and it's usually not the same as doing it yourself. I won't go too much into that because search engine optimization is a great big huge topic all on its own. And of course from, a, from an analytical point of view, I would say websites give you far better insights 
and tools for getting right down and analysing your um, your activity, your business activities. Uh, I'm of course talking here from an organic point of view. Of course, if you would do Facebook paid ads, then you get a lot more insights than if you try to follow your own analytics, which is almost virtually impossible uh, on Facebook uh, for just organic texts. So, having said that, now we go on to. So now we'll just go on to a Facebook page. What can a Facebook page do that a website can't do? Well, a Facebook page allows you to advertise on Facebook. If you are intending to advertise on Facebook, you will not be able to do it unless you have a business page because it will be linking to that. Obviously, you can advertise that it's yourself, but that wouldn't uh, defeat the purpose of distinguishing yourself from a, your personal account from your business activities. So that's one thing a website can't let you do. Uh, it provides you instant feedback and communications. What websites is are for information, are for relaying uh, all of the informa well, information, data that you, your customers might need to know. But it's not an instant kind of communication platform. People have to go out of their way to email you or tell you what they might want or question. Whereas Facebook, Facebook has a simple functionality where you can just press a button and you can get a message and it's much more welcoming in terms of instant feedback. It allows you to network uh, in groups and interact with people from your industry. Obviously, you can't do that from your website because, again, it's a static, or the, even if it has functionality, it's still considered a static uh, medium, whereas Facebook, you can uh, link to other people who you can discuss things with, ask questions of, and encourage other people to ask you questions. So that's one thing you can do on Facebook that you can't do on a website. And, of course, it instantly... Uh, rel in, uh, Facebook instantly allows you to post relevant and share up-to-date information very easily. You don't have to go to your website, you don't have to change the content, you don't have to upload, you don't have to ask whoever's looking after your website to uh, make changes for you. All you have to do is uh, post things yourself and uh, make sure that for instance, you know, you can basically uh, inform people of things that are happening within minutes or hours uh, of your activity or daily. One of the things that you can do on Facebook, for instance, are plan daily um, specials and daily activities uh, that will reach your audience organically a lot, obviously, quicker. Um, then your website would because people have to go to your website and check things as the information is not coming to them Basically, they have to go to it It allows others to share content information so they keep you up to date so that you know what other people are doing so that you know where you stand within the, the business activities of your industry uh, for that period in time and of course it allows third-party analytics um, It provides third-party analytics to the client and consumer. What I mean by that is that, um, whereas in, if you compare that to a web page where the, or a website where the, simple, the most simplest analytics most people use is how many number of visitors they've had, well, Facebook, and it's really the reason Facebook pages are popular is because it provides other people with insight into what's happening to you, how many shares you've got, how many comments you've got, how uh, how active you are and how popular you are. So really, Facebook is for a popularity contest, more or less, whereas websites are for information. So that's basically that in a nutshell. They have two different functions. What you have to work out for your business is which functions are more important to you, which functions are more likely to give you sales and are more likely to give you uh, access to clients, and then do that. Ideally, you should have both, obviously, but if you're starting out and you're just... Uh, Use it, have, and you've got just, uh, and you're making price, you're making product yourself. Then you should probably go for a Facebook page to begin with, and use a commercial platform to sell your stuff, not your own personal website. So thank you very much, and visit the website. Thank you very much, and hope to see you again. Check out our other videos from the playlist.